Hey YouTube, this name is here, aka Crystal. This is like my third time trying to do this update video, but um, let's just jump right into it. So this review is going to be on the AliExpress hair that I'm wearing right now. I sewed it onto a U-part wig, so I can use it as a protective style. How do I accomplish that with a little bit of leave out? Pretty much is, um, take this off every now night. I use whatever moisturizer I'm in the mood that I think my hair may need, depending on how dry it is. I especially like to use my aloe vera, um, rose water gel mix that I recorded a while ago was it in the best light so if you guys want me to do an update on them I put a link below just comment and let me know and that works wonders because when I take the hair off every week to unbraid my hair detangle moisturize wash whatever the aloe vera definitely helps with the detangling and really softens my new growth so I don't feel that difference in my relaxed and new growth since I'm transitioning I'm about I think nine months post um, in March, it's going to be a whole year that I had not gotten a perm because I got my hair permed on my birthday in March. So I think I'm really going to be serious about this going natural thing. But don't look forward to any videos on a big chop. But into the hair. I'll take it off every night, put it on my wig stand, put it on my head. And as far as my um, leave out goes, I pretty much either moisturize and seal and put it on a curler or I will wrap it around a flexi rod which I had before in the beginning well you guys know what a flexi rod looks like but if it's that serious <laughs> this is what it looks like here so I'll just roll it um you know bend it tie a satin scarf on throw on my satin bonnet then I'll take it out and then have the hair blend I usually wear my hair curly um, curly in a sense of like a nice loose beach wave curl. It's really tight because I used my curly wand and did really tiny sections. So it's really bouncy and up. Um, let's get into this hair. So this hair is from AliExpress, Rosé Hair Products Company. And what I love about this hair, absolutely love, is that it does not shed. That's just the biggest thing that I noticed. And when I mean like it does not shed, I mean like literally there's no hair anywhere. Like when I'm brushing it, there's barely any hair in the brush. Whereas, um, you know, usually regular hair that I order, like, look, there's nothing in my hand. And I've had this hair for three weeks. So I'm going to do the other side. If you see my hand stop, I'll get into that. And, yeah, so I got nothing. Nothing. I know, right? AliExpress hair. Even curly hair that I've gotten that wasn't from AliExpress still, like, curly hair especially sheds. But this isn't curly hair. This was, um... As you saw in my initial review, this was a body wave hair that after I bleached it, lost its curl completely. Pretty much went to like a natural wave if you even want to say that. So that's my only negative. Um, this hair, I guess it's a positive. It does not need a lot of product. It doesn't like product actually. When it starts to build up, you know you need to wash it because it kind of starts to just get, I don't know. The product causes it to tangle, but if you don't put anything on it, there's literally no tangling ever. I barely have to, um, I don't sleep on this hair, which I think helps preserve it even longer since I take it off. But I don't have to um, really comb through it, nothing like that. I will say when I kind of curl wand it, you need to make sure that you are curling it, whatever. You need to make sure that you're doing it properly and you're watching how you curl. Because sometimes curly hair likes to intertwine with itself. So as long as I do the curl on properly. It's not going to matte or anything like that. It doesn't tangle near the nape. I don't have any complaints with that. It's just sometimes when I curl it, it may intertwine in itself. When I wear it like in a body wave, loose shape, or I kind of do like a Farrah Fawcett, Kim K going back type of curl, um, it's fine, perfectly fine. Um, Let's see, there's not really any dry ends. All I put on this hair is any type of um, Moroccan oil I have sitting around, Cream of Nature, this one, whatever, or um, just the Argan Oil Polisher just to add in my hair. I think this works the best because it gives me a lot of slip when running my hands through the hair. Uh, I got a 16, 14, 12 inch. Um, the 16, 14 I installed because I could not put the 12 inch on my head to save my life. I guess I really need to like double and triple fold the tracks over to sew it down. 
I only wear this hair really in a curly, something with some body because the 14 and 16 looks so thin to me. So if you have a bigger head and you're going in longer lengths, you cannot, you're not going to get away with the 14 and 16 if you like really full hair. And I don't even like full hair. I just want to look natural and it was just too thin. My hair is not even that thin. So it was just too thin for, for my taste. That was the, the second negative. So it lost its body weight. But if you want a straight hair, this works. And um, you're definitely going to need at least three or four bundles to get that complete look. But because I have it in the curly look, which is what I wanted anyway because I wanted a body wave, um, then it's perfect. It has enough body um, for me. Took the color very nicely. I did this curling wand on Friday night. Today is Sunday. So it really holds a curl very well. Very, very very well like I can curl it in the beginning of the week and I'm fine and all it does it it really stays tight and I've been brushing and combing and brushing and combing because when I run my fingers in the hair kind of um my, my hands act like I'm like a denim brush so it kind of starts to you know define the curls and loop it in so I just run my um wide tooth comb through and it, it spreads it out so you can see the difference on the side it really fluffs it out. So you can get a lot of looks with this hair. But as you guys can see, I'm combing it. And it's not like losing its curl. It holds a really nice curl. And I like it big like this. So this is nice. Um, one thing I will say, another thing, is I use a lot of heat on this hair all the time. So always curling it, flat ironing it, changing my mind. So there are a few split end so you definitely have to watch that and um, trim it but as far as like dry ends nothing like that this hair is really gorgeous it's beautiful I have no complaints it's been about three weeks so I think it's gonna last a really good long time especially since it's a U part so I could take it off take it on um, no real issue with blending if you guys can get a close-up this is pretty much around the color it's a little lighter Now I have better lighting so I can really show you guys it. And you guys saw it in um, how I colored this hair video that I put up. So I'll leave a link to that. And um, I have no complaints. I don't know. I've, I mean, some people I saw good reviews. Some people were like, I don't know. So, I mean, I guess the luck of my draw. All my bundles were uniform. They were the same. They were the neatest constructed west I've ever seen in my entire life. So the only other thing I can see is a little high on the luster side, but just with a little polisher, queen of blending hair, <laughs> it wasn't a problem. So I have, it took the color really nicely, and I love that it holds a curl, so it's a really easy maintenance type of hair. So I just want to be like full hair, just need a few more bundles. If you don't like shedding, you'll absolutely love this hair, and I mean... It's really soft and pretty. I've, oh, one thing. This hair does not like a lot of products. So you cannot be, I apply this every day because I don't care. But, like, you can't because after a while it starts to, like, matte. Because it gets annoyed because of the products. But once I wash it and I use my Honey I'm Strong conditioner, which I'm going to review. But only after I apply it to my real hair. So I want to try it out. It smells so good. It made this hair so soft. So after I washed it, it was, um... It was fine. It just it just doesn't like product buildup. So only use a really light polisher or serum. That's it. You don't need to moisturize or nothing. This is not, the hair is not going to like that. And the only thing I will say is that when I do wash it, I know it's a little frizzy. So you still have to kind of, um, frizzy, just like staticky, I would say. So you still got to run your flat iron through if you want that silky smooth thing or a curly wand. But once you do that, you're not going to see any frizz, as you can see here. This hair acts right. I go outside, it stays the same. And, you know, my edges are not left out. They're just braided. It's just right here that is. So, that's pretty much my hair. I'm going to leave all the links and anything I thought about that I said throughout the video below. Information about the hair below. Links to previous um, reviews about the hair. Anything that you guys want to know. Any questions, anything like that, let me know. This is a three-week review. I'm probably going to come back and maybe do a six-week one and then we'll call it an end of the day with this hair. 
Because I think six weeks gives you a good enough feel of the hair. But I'm going to have it in for a while because this is my protective style in the winter time. But thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.